from the creators of Monster Tree. Three player co op. With roguelike elements. All right, ink bound. Now I made the mistake of opening the game and I think it skipped half the tutorial. So we're gonna go in with no like intro, I think. My bad, my bad. But it was like, welcome to the endless sea of ink. And I was supposed to click a thing. The glowing mode of light blinks. Okay, it actually didn't skip all that much. Your approach. Can you stand the heat? Swing your hammer. Uh, dash around the battlefield, seeking your enemy's weaknesses. And Arson with the power to spin magical threads, control the battle. I feel like everyone who's going to load up the game is going to be a Moss Cloak. I'm, I'm going to break the mode a little bit. I'm sure the devs are thinking, okay, we need people to test out the tank class. <laughs> we can't have everyone be assassins. Ooh, a little bit of character customization. Is that the fresh fade? No. The the freshest they could make without having some kind of uh, authenticity in here. That's okay. Okay, give me the edgiest Cyclops we could possibly have. V, you gotta play the game at some point. Yo, all right, all right. You get the idea, you get the idea. I'm scared to look over here at global chat. If you all see anything questionable over there, let me know. Okay, so, couple plebs, we have Bonk, Leaping Strike, and Smash. Single target, Leap AoE, look at the distance on that. It's like MMO music, like I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV. I'm gonna get tagged. They're supposed to do this hitless. So, you all can't see everything right now, but I believe there is an action meter as well as your basic HP. So, like, I just lost two energy for the distance I traveled. Um, if you've ever played, like, a Divinity Original Sin or something like that, you have action points. Um, there's no grid from the look of it, you, so I'm sure at some point you get used like to how far so distances sign. are. In the form Sprung from the sea, quest complete. Face the last guardian and find the exit. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to be in multiplayer. Like if we're all moving at the same time, for example. Ooh, look at that AoE. So... So that was one point of movement. I didn't think that would happen. I'm dead. <laughs> So each of these have a cost to it as well. I, I don't know why I thought I could do a little bit extra. I could get like right outside the AOE. And then in my turn. Okay. Nib and Ben, it's mirrored? I didn't know. It's a rare he didn't know moment. But enough from us. Time for you to jump back up to the Athenium and get out of this dank old place. The Athenium is no place for us, but this will not be our last encounter. Good, because I kind of like these characters. Your form is young and still without purpose, but trust in your quill. And you may just find it. Okay. Okay, do the Ath Athenium? I can barely read that. Wait, I can see multiple people. We got Shiny Cami, we got Bobby Tarantino, Nikki Romaro, Mimo Mumsy, 
Mumsy's the word. M Manderbolt. That's from Final Fantasy XIV. Tuxedo Mask. Daily Tasks. <laughs> they thought of everything. There's no way. Um, so there's like a bunch of stuff here. Meet the Stigmatist. Complete hard battles, fully upgrade bindings, receive healing, need healing. Um, track a quest, start an unranked dive. Start a ranked dive. My goodness gracious. Wow, I can't believe there's ranked and unranked. That's, that's incredible to me. Heal physical damage, spend money, Lose shield. That first choice is always really weird to me. Binding draft. Shield wall. Gain five shield and three stacks of spiked on a cooldown. Steal a small amount of quillings from the enemy. Whenever you deal magic damage, gain dread. And then is this like a meta currency? Tank build. A little bit like Curse of the Dead Gods. They have a little bit of everything in this game so far. Oh, it's like a quest. We gotta deal 6,500 physical damage. That seems like a lot. Yeah, the devs snapped when they made this game. These are from the Monster Train devs. For all my Monster Train fans in the chat. Yeah, looking good. You might be playing Gunfire Reborn. You might be playing Risk of Rain 2. You might want to put this in your rotation for Squad Night. I should have done those first, I guess. So can I, like, shield? They won't auto-die to it, unfortunately. Quest complete! I did a crit. It's weird to me that this only hits one target. Very sad. Oh, that thing's tanky. Oh, maybe these are monster spawn points. I think that's what it is. Okay. So none of them have counter attack. They just have dodge. They have double dodge? That's toxic. Move and get the orb. Maybe not that far. How about like right here? Yeah, that's what we like to see. <laughs> okay. So I didn't have shielding, unfortunately. There we go. Um... That's magic, but I don't know what it scales with. Like, is there any point to getting magic power? I feel like the answer is no. I probably have stuff that will eventually, like, any magic skills do something extra. Like, burn enemies for using magic skills. Counter assistance. When you dodge an attack, gain precise. I never dodge. A random binding gets one cooldown reduction at the start of the turn. That seems good. At the start of your turn, 50% chance to heal too. I'm just going to do that. Because I think I have a quest for healing. <laughs> so I may as well get that. Um, gain a free binding upgrade and ascension for another. We did knowledge last time. Let's get binding empowerment. 
400. I'm broke. Uh, reduce cooldown by one. Increased range of my jump. 25% chance to spawn an orb on bonk. That would give you your mana back. And maybe let you bonk again. That seems interesting. All right. Let's get in there. Loot box? I don't think I'm even strong enough to kill this. <laughs> Never mind. Duel. I can't reach. Give him the loot. So, can I get both of these? Yeah, it reduces my cooldowns. I'm okay, devs. I need to be able to move the camera down, left, and right. Like, I, I can't commit to this jump. Not yet. I'd rather know. Like, I know I can move down and, like, snap back. Like that. But I also like to be able to just jump and not have to think about it. How much HP do you have? 17? Oh! <laughs> 37? F4 for free cam? Is that gonna uninstall my game? It, it's not doing anything. Yeah, loot crate. Loot goblin gives gold. Oh wow, I missed that. I can't reach. Okay. What is this? Give me that. And then... Give me these? I could actually re-engage if I wanted to. Oh my god, I'm getting quests for days. How do you get the shield quest if you're playing the assassin? Deals 100% increased damage and takes more damage. I need like one inch forward. That hits, right? Oh my god. It's gonna blow. That's that's this, I hope. <laughs> Crap. Give me a jump. I don't know, have anyone in chat played Divinity Original Sin 2 before? Like, it feels like that, except I'm not falling asleep. Not being toxic, I'm just... I'm giving you the vibe. That's all. I'm losing ground. Get destroyed. I'm gonna lose all of this HP if I stay here. Does this reach? Crap. Okay, that reaches. I'll go to two, right? Go to two. 
Smack. And then Dipset. Give me that. I still take like 20 damage. Is there a sweet spot? Is my boy too thick? Oh no. I want to do this hitless. <laughs> I feel like there's gotta be a pixel. <gasps> <laughs> Chat, we found it. All right, re-engage. Oh, okay. Hit boxes. The number one thing that you need in a game like this for any dev that wants to make the next Divinity Original Sin killer, hit boxes. Has to be on point. Has to be immaculate. Bonus spike damage. That's kind of interesting. That works with my shield tech. Uh, can't dodge, gain will, strength up, crit chance up. I think we do that. When does this game come out? I think someone said it's late 2023. Um, they're just in alpha stage right now, but I don't have the details myself. We have not done this place yet. Store of value. Call for the vestige. When you take damage, inflict burn. When you use an attack, 25% chance to reduce the cooldown of another attack. Gain. I think that's basically AP. Gain AP whenever a monster dies. That could be really good. Nice job with those unravels so far, but you ain't lived until you fought a raven as big as a house. Though you probably have a lot more holes than you once you do, eh? <laughs> well, you're a shiny new needless, aren't you? Got a quill and everything. Uh, bet you've got quillings to spare too. We'll be buying or moving. This place ain't kind to idlers. Okay, so this is the only thing to buy from. I mean, I can get both. Just snowball the game? I just don't want the like burn on reflect. That doesn't seem super impactful. All right, so there's our key. We have not gotten a key before in this entire game. Grant cost discount to random bindings three times. This should be fine. Oh my god, it's the freaking Pokemon again. It takes extra damage though. Just interesting. Like it takes, I think, reduced damage. 75% reduced. 50% increase. So like 25% reduced. Is that worth it? Run out. Yeah, the colors change when you're out of combat. That's supremely helpful for people like me. All right, what's it doing? We don't know. Re-engage. Oh! <laughs> so what, you're doing AoE? You're, you both are? I can chill. Oh, more stuff spawn. 
I, I didn't know we were doing that. It's like they always make it so I am not able to hit two. Like, I don't know if that's by design. Like, the monsters are smart enough to space themselves out. It's kind of sick if it is. I should have just popped it. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I killed. We're fine, we're fine. Give me that. Can't snap back. It's quite a lot. Um, okay. I can hit both. Oh my god, that's huge. Big bonk. Little bonk. Give me the mana. I kind of want to shield up, but I'd rather give like a big bonk. I wish this- look how tiny the range is on this. I know like, yes, V, the immersion. You're not supposed to be able to land that hammer. From across the map, I get it. I get it, 100%. But think of how satisfying it would be to land those. Okay, so we're gonna take a lot of damage if we stand right here. But like, I could just slam these? Oh my god. Let's shield up. We're taking a little bit less. Big slam. I'm gonna pop this maybe? That was cooldown reduction, not like super helpful. I need to get this. It's like, if I could do one more power slam, it would be so nice. Oh, it's like right there. I can make that. Chat, I can make it. We're fine. Power slam. For all my Jace players, my dirty chase pl Jace players. That was free. Oh crap, I can't move. I wish I had ranged attacks. This is bull crap. <laughs> it died to reflect. Reminds me of Crown Trick, a very good game, by the way. Love Crown Trick. Give me some. Give me some max HP. Manifest key. Manifested in 2023. Oh, they tried to hide it. I gotta see this game in co-op. Like, I can't imagine how this plays in co-op at all. Uh, it's like poison on crit. Chance to gain will when enemies die. You can stack these? That? Is that busted? Om, a lost quill, wanders the waste of Runstad. Heal and spend. Gain quillings and the opportunity to use keys. Gotta use the key. The key. Alright. Bra button. That's not. Oh, Jakey, Jakey. The unstave. Plus 15 max HP. When you take 50%. Oh, you do take 50% less damage. Just straight up. Wonder if it rounds down. Gain will on kill. 
and we have like a 25% chance to get one as well. When you pick up an orb, gain the ability power. So not that. It's definitely one of these two. Either stay tanky or potential snowball. I, I kind of like the idea of like power slam and you get all your mana back. It's probably never going to work. I just don't know like what the game has to offer us. Oh, we're going into a boss. All right, had I known it was a boss, I would have done the tanky thing. Oh, I never picked up that potion that we saw earlier. All right. Rhinferno. You already know what this enemy does. We fought these a million times in a million different games. Oh my god. Yeah, I can move. I can move like one step before it takes away the AP. I don't really want to use that. Alright, so we get resets on kill, right? So we're at three. I go to four. Oh, and we're hitting this too? Wait, that's huge. I gotta get these. Wait, it dropped one orb right in front of it. <laughs> Am I still in range? I can snap back. That's the weirdest thing. Like you can step forward, use energy, grab the orb, and then snap backward. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. See, but now I don't have the snap back, which is kind of weird. Okay. Re-engage? I shouldn't have popped that energy. Like, you all don't know how badly I want to jump into this. I'm doing it. Six energy now. Alright. How is this possible in multiplayer? There's no way. Crater. Leap a long distance, deal 39 damage in a huge area, gain one stack of heat for each enemy you hit. Leap a long distance and deal 91 damage in a moderate area, inflict four stacks of burn. Oh my god, I just want to bomb the map repeatedly and get all my energy back. I think we have magic plus one. So maybe, maybe you get this. I don't think you care for the burn. Well, maybe you care for 91. 91 is a very attractive number. Uh, burn damage up, physical power up, max HP up. Last time we deleted all of our HP, so maybe it makes sense we level up. Uh, play a wall, gain shielding, stunning bonk, stun the enemy once per turn, mega smash. That's a big smash. Scorching bonk. Crap, I should have kept the stun. 
Like, the, what I'm thinking of is how do I just... Maybe it is this. How do I hit every enemy at the same time and get all my energy? Ooh, fish. We got a quill fish. Pilfer. Restoration. Incinerary. This is a new skill. Maybe you do take the restore? Cause like I can't imagine the rest of my kit needing more damage. So like if I take a hit, we can do a restore before combat ends. Okay, this is a new area. Radiant Market. Yeah, steel sounds good for multiplayer, to be honest. Like, hold up. <laughs> Let me steal first. No one killed the boss yet. I don't know if I really care to do the potions. I feel like I'd rather have money. Especially if you think you're busted. I don't need no stinky potions. Ooh, loot crate. Like, right there. Ooh, this thing's tanky. Oh! Wow. Crap, why is this over here? Is it even worth grabbing it? Let's see if I can grab and snap back. I absolutely could not. I absolutely wasted the turn. <laughs> That's fine. Not a big deal. My build! They nerfed my build already. Oh, I can't hit both. I should have grabbed that first, I think. Maybe it dies to burn. 14 health? This does 10 per stack, that's 70. Oh my god, thank you, game. Okay. We're good. No big deal. We haven't taken damage yet. Like right here, maybe? Or me? Four me? Three me? Whose attack is this? This is yours. Everything's so tanky now. I can re-engage. I, I can get the power orb. And then re-engage. Got mana back. Give me some more. That's Buster Rhymes. This is a really cool enemy. I really like the enemy design. There's a lot of stuff the enemies can do. Oh, you can go over cap. That's good to know. All right, if I could land my three on both. Oh my God, it's right here. Ooh. Widow to eternal longing window. I was gonna say, wait. Not while in combat. I guess we're walking. Bonk City.
One energy orb. Got it. Snap back. Two hits. There's no way this is intended. Oh, I didn't get the snap back. But some abilities look like they buff themselves when you pick up orbs. So it's like you spam that, pick up, go back, hit for like more damage. Yo, legendary. Heal two HP every turn, gain physical power on heal. Like if we weren't full HP 100% of the time, that would be amazing. I guess now I don't need to get max health. Bond Enhancer. When you pick up an orb, remember we were talking about that earlier. Reduce a random magic binding cooldown by two. The only one we have are the the tank ones. If this was physical, my god. When you crit, reduce the cooldown of a random binding crit up. We're probably taking that. Once per turn, gain an additional two shield the first time you gain shield. Oh no. Well, we don't need healing anymore. Ooh. This is like uncommon and these are common. Okay. Wow, this game has everything. Free ability and then chance to ascend an ability. Uh, let's get the, the uncommon ability first. Um, discount smash, reduce the will cost of my Giga Smash by one. Scorching Bonk. Add the burn. Quick Leap, reduce the cooldown by one. That's the re-engage. Chat, you all know I like the re-engage. 91 damage with a freaking gravity smash. I, I think it's this, but I'm getting quick leap because I don't care. <laughs> I'm like the game so far. Squeege, this is actually super fun. Gain five shield, gain stacks of spike equal to the amount of shield, gain 10 shield, gain resistance. I don't think I have this currency. Oh my god, it's only ascending the things I'm not using. If I leave, do I keep my money? No. It already spent the $400. Whatever. Freaking game. Uh, I'm the VFX guy for Inkbound. All the booms and sparkles. Squeege? We were talking earlier, a lot of people like the color. We played a lot of games where color is like the least thing on their agenda. Um, but the contrast here, the saturation, the insert color theory is actually really good. Um, do I get my money back? Let's try a potion. Um, visual effects, everything's really good. Are you the one in charge of, I guess, I guess it's the UI, but the way how the monster AOE indicators and stuff like that are shown on the screen. So for example, the idea that, okay, these are shiny until you walk out of them. They are no longer shiny. That means you're safe. We know that all three of these are attacking. I don't know whose is whose though. I don't know if that matters, like an arrow pointing this way. I guess that's a lot of visual clutter. Uh, but you can kind of see if I hover, we know they're all doing AOE like that. And then it's, it's like pulsing. Yeah, the target indicator flickers. So I really like that. I feel like I'd love to know that these are doing damage around them without having to hover. But like you said, there's visual clutter that we don't want to have too much of. Oh, 
Oh my god, please game. <laughs> you cannot tell me. That's not beautiful. I, that's the best thing in this game. Precision. I honestly feel like if the precision wasn't there... We'd be having like a lot worse of a time. You gotta have a precise game for something like this. Still wish... Squeege, can I like... Cam down? I know there's a monster down here. I, w I want to like camera down. Without having to walk down and then snap back. And that might be just a me issue. I don't know if anyone else wants to do that. Working on cam stuff. Excellent. See, look at this chat. This is a dev team that wants to make sure that all the bells and whistles are there. Am I taking damage in here? I'm not. I could grab that. I could do this. Reposition. Kill it, apparently. Give me that. And then these are monster spawns. Okay, looking good, looking good. I need to be in three range. Like, right here, maybe? They have dodge, that's toxic. <laughs> Found the sweet spot. Beautiful. Is this not a loot crate? I don't think it is. I think that's a... a mimic loot crate. This is another weird one, Squeege. I don't know if you know this as a, a UI person. Like, I can go up, get an energy orb, and sometimes I can still snap back, and I profit the energy. Dead Cells was a little tough for you? A lot of people have said that. And to be fair, I think it's okay if, and I'm not saying that this is you in particular, but if you happen to be someone who enjoys the idea of Dead Cells, but didn't actually, you know, complete it. I think that's perfectly fine, because you at least gave it a shot to figure out if it's something that you're interested in. Give me the energy. We did not get the big bonk. Just fine. Oh wow, I still needed shielding for quests. I always forget that I'm actually tanky. So I should probably be doing tank things every now and then. Physical power, magic power, max HP. Until end of turn, on hit, do burn. And something else. This is... This is going to replace one of these. I don't think I want to drop my power and crit. When you pick up an orb, stun the nearest enemy. That seems interesting. At the start of each turn, reduce your movement binding cooldowns to zero. Not that. No. No. There's no way. Key? Something? Sped. I like something. Gain shield whenever you use a physical binding. It's kind of good. When you kill an enemy, Create a controlled explosion. Also good. Imagine you jump in with Comet and then explode and then get the reset.
Is C trickle redundant? It's it's weird because like I don't know how many of these is activating. Is this a curse of dead gods, but lol like? <laughs> it's a very interesting way to put it. I can see some comparisons, absolutely. Uh, but it's more so like a divinity original sin roguelite. Action roguelite, I guess I should say. But even then, not tactical action. All vestiges stack. Yeah, I, I do imagine that these are stacking, but it's more so like, am I truly getting the chance of double will? Or at this point, with ink tap, do I actually need both of these? I feel like the answer is no. Surely ink tap is doing as much as two C trickles. I hope. Liz, hurry up. I look presentable. Another one of the silent wonders is here. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, you too, bright one. It's always an honor to meet a sliver of creation. And what an honor it must be for you to finally meet the genius, the legendary, the once a lifetime intellect, the chronologer girl, and his quill companion, Lise. Nothing? Quickest counselor of the third age, fable author of the thousand tomes, honestly, what do they teach you up here? Well, should epiphany strike you with divine knowledge of my identity, I'll be here waiting. I didn't get to see Lise. I wanted to see Lise. He? He me? Chronolicker. Yes. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Give me some ale. Just a tiny step. Oh, right, I think I have full. No, it still uses it. I didn't take whatever that item was. Oh no, at the start of your movement, at the start of your turn, reduce movement bindings. Oh, I think that was redundant, because I think I. Oh no, it has a two cooldown. Never mind, never mind. Hit. Oh wow, I missed that one. Alright, give me a three. I got the jump again. I swear the monsters are smart enough to be out of range. Like, I really feel like they go into a spot that is most efficient to avoid damage. Three energy. I can't cheese it. Oh, this is the full reposition range. I'm surprised that they gave us that. I figure, okay, you gotta figure it out yourself, but it looks like they kind of just Gave it to you a little bit. That's sick. I don't mind tanking. Because we get physical power if we heal. Okay, Hermes Sandals. So this comes back. Boom. Orb me. Right there. Back to five. <laughs> like, even the idea that you're counting this out is hilarious to me. Hold. Good. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. 142. This does 196. It 
and then we get one energy back for doing it. Which I can like grab this. Oh my god, I'm so close. All right. I'm telling you, that's got... I don't know how multiplayer works. Like, doing this solo is extremely entertaining. I don't know how multiplayer works at all. Please! Let me get both! It's like right there. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> yeah, get all my energy back. And then we just re-engage with this. Yeah. Like right there maybe? So I can hit both with one? Never mind, not necessary. What multiplayer? was real time. Have you seen it? Oh, what if it's real time and you're just all like destroying stuff at the same time? Missing abilities because you're trying to hit the same target? I like it, I like it. Right here? You're toxic? I should probably start tanking hits. What is this? Wait, am I bound? Is that legal? It's messed up. <laughs> Bomb left shows the D buffs next to your buffs. Was there a, a bound, a bound, a bind in there? Oh, the Groot. The other way to call bind. Elemental seal bind on dark stay. And then we have on crit reduce cooldown. Holy smokes. I'll take some knowledge. Hi, I'm new. What game is this roguelike round based? If you mean like, can I describe this compared to some other game? Um, because you don't want to think of it as like this game is based off this game, like Slate Aspire except your waifus or something like that it's what's the closest thing i can compare it to i would say divinity original sin or like a Baldur's gate as in a roguelite that's that's basically what i would compare it to um there's a lot more things in here besides divinity so like you're not stuck listening to story there's ranked there's like a battle pass or something. This game, they thought of everything. I'm currently playing unranked solo queue. Soon to play ranked trios. I don't know if ability power works. On my character. I feel like I don't do anything that's ability. I think it's all power. Kind of hard to tell. Yo, global chat. I have not seen any tomfoolery in global chat yet. That's incredible. Card capture Sakura. It's like a mimic. Does it have a health bar? Okay, that is the health bar. All right. I should three first to reduce the cooldown. Wait, I... Soul Shield, reduce incoming damage based on how many allies are alive. Ah, yes, indeed. Get destroyed? You think I care about allies? Um... 
One more. Give me the re-engage. Like right there. Grab this. I should just jump. <laughs> it's like, why would I not just spam Comet? I'm telling you, it's so good. All right, now I have to actually play the game. No energy. I guess I should use the fish. I wonder if this battle still counts. Heal? Oh, I healed myself. Oh, where's your friends? I didn't jump over? Wait, I have it again. Because I crit? Please? We found it. Oh my god, I'm actually just stomping everybody. Like, if I crit... It reduces its own cooldown. Is that legal? I need more crit rate. I I've been playing the game wrong this whole time. If it's fun, it's legal. <laughs> that's, that's a bad road to go down. <laughs> Snap back. Boom. Give me a target. Boom. Can't reach the energy. I feel bad. This thing had a rough game. Grab this. Jump here. No, maybe jump like here. Grab this. Jump again. Crap. I have to actually play the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right here. Got the reset. I can't hit both. There's no way. Would have been nice. I still have four energy. Oh my God. Level up? Wait, there's levels in this game? I'm a level four Uchiha Cyclops. I, I didn't know. Epic Mickey X Hades. You know what? That's not wrong. Very, very, very reasonable comparison there. I, I don't know about Hades so, so much, but definitely I see the epic Mickey, maybe a little bit of Da Blob vibes. Who remembers Da Blob from the Wii? Oh my god. Am I at 100% crit rate yet? If not, then 0 out of 10 game. 21%? And this is... This is only a 10... I'm at a 30% crit rate? No. There's no way. Deal 420 blaze it damage to a single enemy. Drop a moderate amount of money. Consume all stacks of burn on the enemy. Deal 30 damage per stack of burn. I do be burning. 420... You would have to get like six stacks of burning. This is four stacks. So you're only getting 120 on top of 250. I mean, on a boss, detonate is actually pretty good. But I think this at the start 
is doing better. Comet does more freaking burn. All right, I actually just trolled myself. Whatever, game. Whatever. See, this is why you actually want to pay attention, chat. Yeah, you could have popped off with more burn, but instead we did the opposite. What? What's the opposite of pop off? So you met the old chron chronicler. Chronicler. Did you notice anything unusual, Needless? Aside from his boundless energy, of course, sometimes he even gives us a run for my quillings. Yes, uh, his quill, Needles. Still bound, still bright. Unlike anyone else you've met, I would guess. Probably makes sense. Probably makes those Athenium reunions a bit tense, wouldn't you think? That whole unbinding business because the, the cause of this whole mess we're in right now. More questions without answers, Needless. Spawn a plant that grants one will to whoever picks it up. Each turn, the plant is on the ground. It grows in potency. Like, I don't really need any of this, but I'm not using regeneration at all, even though I paid a lot of money for it. I should skip, I think. Like, if it's not some kind of legendary ability, it's not going to see use. This goes on for quite a while, too, huh? This screen gave you Slay the Spire vibes. It has quite a lot to it. How long does it take to unlock team invites? I think I already have it unlocked. I think once I died in our first run, it had me to talk to NPCs and then I could invite people. Next battle, gain a 50% chance to do stuff. I gotta use this key still. Loot crate? We know how to deal with loot crates now. Do one of those. This thing has 1500 HP. That's um, that's a little different. I'm not used to that. Get stunned. Oh, please. Oh my god, they moved. I thought I was going to have the perfect re-engage. Crap. Is that worth it? What if I jump here? Jump here. Grab. Jump again. Three. Three. like vampire survivors or something get that snap back re-engage not as much damage as I thought but I got a reset when you will die who's it gonna be can I hit both of these I can <laughs> it's like our oddly satisfying it's a little bit of busted build hunter which I really really appreciate you all don't know how much I enjoy busted build hunter games we're just trying to draft out a way to not have to play the game not being toxic I'm just saying that like the fun is when you just snowball the entire game because you're so good <laughs> um, if you defeat an enemy with an attack more than double their max health gain money when you dodge an attack never gonna happen when you take damage also never gonna happen does this happen at all oh all damage sources deal 10% so that's, that's what I was fi trying to figure out. I'm gonna swap. I have a lot of money though. That's not really getting a lot of use. I feel like right now, 
for me to use money. Money's really for ascensions, and we haven't seen enough ascensions. I'm sure that's on purpose. We'll ditch Sea Trickle. We'll assume that Sea Trickle is getting beaten out by Ink Tap. And that's probably asking for a lot. Oh, we haven't done the powerful choice yet. I should probably do some of those. Um, Augment? Burning Bonk? Giga Smash? And then Ascend? Arise? Deal 68 damage, get Heat. It's like, I want something for Comet. Heat will help your Comet deal more damage if I do a Thwack first. I'm sold. Key, potion, money. You guys see the Thwack Banger FX? Hopefully a monster lets me Thwack it. Wait, that, that was a boss. Oh wow, look at that positioning. Thank you, game. Give me this. Well... I should do this first. I guess there's an argument for Thwack first. Please? There it is. That's what we like to see. Okay, I got a reset too. Crap, it actually moved me backwards. Okay, so... Do that. Okay, I feel like I'm not getting back as much energy as I used to. I may have made a mistake. I may have taken out too many energy things. Re-engage? Look at the heat system. We're at five heat in inkbound. You have freaking dodges? That's messed up. Can't dodge burn. If only I can kill this. Yeah, so see, that's like one of the rare t times we have ran out of energy. It can happen. Right there. Give me a three. Please, game. <laughs> oh, they're not going to give it to me. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to bonk. Boom. Oh my god, the damage though. 107. 215. It should die. Right? Oh my god, of course it dies, V. Of course. Never doubted. Mm hmm. I have ran out of energy. I forgot energy was a thing. When your attacks empty, you must be clicking the middle. Yeah, so this is like end turn. Um, and I was thinking that maybe this should have a shortcut button, so like I press spacebar and like the turn ends, but now that I think about it from like a viewer perspective, you may not really see that I'm ending my turn, it might be a little confusing, if like viewer perspective is important. Oh, I got the reset? But can I do it without taking damage? I don't think I can. Uh, removes a stack each time a player uses a binding. I think I armor up. Tank. A 
I'm not used to taking damage. I, I don't think I like that. Taking damage bad. 179. Is that gonna hit me? Oh, it does. I can't get out of that. All right. Looking good, people. Yeah, remember, this is supposed to be a co-op game. I'm playing this solo right now. But this game is designed for a co-op. I got some energy back, I think. That should die to burn. Give me the orb. That was a mistake, apparently. <laughs> I messed up. Oh, I saw controlled explosives just then. Crap! You don't even die. So give me one of those. Give me a three. There we go. I gotta remember that my basic bonk also buffs. Whenever you lose health, reduce the cooldown of the shield, gain more burn. Sure. All right. Oh, I don't think you carry two keys. All right. Wait, can I go back for the other key? When you use a binding, you have a 25% chance to reduce the cooldown of others. At the start of the turn, reduce your movement bindings cooldowns to zero. I can't lose the crit rate. May we drop the money here? Same rarity. I think we lose out on some ability power though, but maybe it'll be fun. It is, that's sick. Red is harder and better loot. Red is better than yellow? I, I thought yellow was the universal legendary. Oh, maybe I play the wrong games. Is that like a World of Warcraft thing? Where red is like the ultimate rarity and orange is just like, it's trash basically. V is trash. <laughs> Art director says destiny red is better. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. Okay. So, I don't know what this is, but it's hitting the entire arena. I should also heal. My first time ever using this ability, by the way. What are you doing? You're buffing people? That thing's really far. Oh, snapback? This deals 756. And I get energy back. When unit loses 50% more, it becomes enraged. Ah, yes. Oh, please. Oh, I can't reach. It's actually going into the lava. It doesn't know. It doesn't know that I don't care about stinky lava. 
If I could jump backward, I need the crit. It's enraged. <laughs> Chat, I didn't crit. What am I supposed to do? Like right here? I finally crit. After all these years. Where now it's like too late. Don't even try it, buddy. Don't even try it. X Factor. I got the X Factor. Is that Marvel? Wins Marvel? Oh my god. That damage ain't right. That boy ain't right with the damage, though. Stand in it? There was something that I stood in to get X Factor. I completely missed it. I apologize. I'm too gassed up on gameplay. Give me a crit. Am I not getting resets on crits anymore? When you crit, reduce the cooldown of a random binding. I thought it used... Oh, it probably reduced one of these. Unlucky. I need to do these two. Not bad, not bad. Didn't get the snap back. Hitbox? I'm telling you, the hitboxes in this game are so player friendly. It's incredible. Like, you couldn't wish for a better hitbox just then. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, stand in a laser beam, don't worry. You just wanted to see the, the good graphics. V, please, I handcrafted that laser beam. Someone has to see it. At the start of each turn, reduce cooldowns. I have that already. Frost and this thing again. Is it all uncommons? It might be all uncommons. Crit damage up. Your next attack is a guaranteed hit at the start of combat. Guaranteed comet reset. At the start of combat. That sounds kind of decent. We don't need window of longing. I'm not healing ever. Get that crap out of here. <laughs> no recycle, by the way. Uh, knowledge, spend money. Your movement bindings get full cost discount at the start of each turn. That is literally better than sandals, right? Full cost discount. I lose five crit. Got, it's it's got to be. At the start of each turn, inflict gaze, get money. Oh, I didn't know it would reroll this too. When you hit. If you are hit by an attack, never happening. Save for ascension, I think. Swapping cost for cooldowns, though. Oh wait, that's that was cost and not cooldown. At the start of each turn, reduce binding cooldown to zero. Cost discount. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So the idea was that if we crit on power slam. Then we just get it back anyway. And this is gonna give it back to me regardless. This is where it gets like kind of fun, is figuring out... Okay, it's this. I, I'm sure it's working, but we're not magic anyway. I have a plan in my mind and we don't want to deviate from it.
Okay, so you have dodges. You don't. You're powering up. So we have a costless jump. That got a reset, apparently. Maybe... May we save it? Because now I can jump to the power orb? <laughs> no! Wait, I'm out of energy. I messed up. But either way, like, half an enemy's HP? In recycling of a bandit gear for Quilly. We're considering it. There's your answer. TY Dev. Can we get a TY Dev in the chat, by the way? Very much appreciate all the answers. Like right here? Crap, that didn't move me at all. <laughs> Power slam. One way to scare a League of Legends player. Why do they keep wanting to upgrade this? I don't know what this currency is still. It did it anyway. All right. Uh, take 50% less damage until the start of your next turn. Do the spiked. Critical smash, crit damage, crit chance. But can we see, even though this is incredibly good, can we see the burn? The ignite burn? Maybe not. I will roll down until I see it. I don't have it. Oh wow, these can stack. You can get more than one Mega Smash. It's interesting. Yeah, this game has some silly stuff in it. Oh, I thought this was it. Crap. Which is cool. Like, we like silly as well. Silly is fun. Oh my god. Why is one missing? What happened? I trolled myself. That's what happened. V, you thought. U T H O U G H T. Um, none of that. So this must be the final boss. That was a decent amount of biomes, huh? Like three full biomes and then a boss. Argoloth. Terror of the Deep. Oh. Thank you for putting that right next to the boss. Handcrafted power orb right there. Um, I think you slam first. Oh, I should be doing this. Do that, then slam. Because slam does more damage. And then power orb. Get my three back. Oh, maybe I should buff myself? I'm not taking any damage this round. I feel like I don't have to. Now I can. Okay, so now it is actually going to hurt me. We don't like that. Please! No, 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 no. Look at that damage. 
We're dead. Right there, chat. That's the spot. More? Oh, because the phase change, maybe? I didn't crit. It's so weird to me using not damaging abilities. Okay, so we're gonna assume that 10% damage reduction per stack loses one stack at the end of the turn. Oh, these are tanky. I didn't know. How much HP do you have? 466? 40% damage reduction? So you're gonna deal like 400? That kills. 100% that kills. That's close enough. Um, I might not have to clean up the tentacles, but it might become an issue if I don't. So I feel like it's a good idea to at least do this. Like, I'm sure all this damage... Oh, it's dealing damage to the boss, too? I miss a power orb, unfortunately. Delayed attack. It's gonna do something if I do something. Let's reposition. Two power orbs. Ooh! I think I could get these for free. I can not lose health from it. Power slam. Start working on the boss again. Oh no. I I can't Okay, the hitbox on this one is a little unfortunate. I actually can't get it. It's like off. What if I'm like over here? It's not the hitbox, it's the outlying thing that's messed up. Trust me, you're hitting it. I trusted. I believed. And I got it. <laughs> it's like such an inefficient way for me to do this. Wow. Escalated a little bit. What are these doing? I think that's the boss. The boss is doing a wave attack that way. Ooh. Huh. I'm out. And I got the reset on the jump. On power slam. It's kind of cracked. Wait, is spamming this? It's interesting. So I actually really like this. The fight definitely escalated. 
which is extremely entertaining to me. Got the reset? I could maybe be safe in this little corner right here. Oh no, I can't stand there. Who's doing this? Is this the bosses? I feel like I could maybe... Oh my god, I'm just out of range. Crap. Okay, sweet spot right here. Unfortunately, I don't have the energy to do my my good attack. But still good enough, I think. Purple equals boss. Pink equals tentacle. I thought that was if you are in range or out of range. Unless you're saying that, oh, in that circumstance, the, that one there is the tentacle. That one there is the boss. If so, thank you. Okay, so we do this, big hit, reposition. No animation, but you know what? That's fine. 1,400. Should I be focusing on the ads? Yeah, I'm only doing 24 damage here. Yeah, the ads are absorbing all the damage. Just very bad. I didn't use my fish. Okay, that was a rare he didn't know moment. Well, I, I, I was told, but I didn't listen well enough. That's my bad. We gotta clean up the ads. And it is doing damage to the boss too, so it's not like it's not worth it. Zero cost regeneration? What even is that? Yo, I love the music in this. Imagine if I had just been fighting the tentacles the whole time and not focusing on the boss. Ooh, win or run! I should have played ranked! I'm gonna be iron for the rest of my life! See, chat, this is why you play ranked games. If you're just stuck and unranked, you'll never climb. I know you want to practice. Practice is okay, but you can still practice in ranked too. People do it all the time. Yo, that was actually extremely entertaining to me shout outs to the devs for allowing us to play this early and distribute codes for the game as well i hope you all enjoyed it as much as i did um but yo what y'all think of the game it's not a hashtag ad by the way so like we can speak objectively about the game i would say i like everything i see I think there is a point where you won't spend money except rerolling. And I'd love to see like a way to dump cash into like a specific ability. Even if it's only like fine tuning individual numbers. So let's say like crit plus 1%. If you're saying that you absolutely won't get anything else with your money. So once you get into the level transition at the late game it gives you options to add a new card <clears throat> and i think <clears throat> excuse me i think by then i'm not changing my cards out like they are they're already too good so to give me card options that late in the game doesn't seem like i would take it drafting is fun like we always like drafting just it's a little late to still be drafting 